the Aga Khan complex in Nairobi. Friends and family of radio presenter Ruhila Adatia gather to pay their last respects. American ambassador to Kenya Scott Gratian and former Constitutional Affairs Minister and Presidential Candidate Eugene Omalwa gracing the prayer ceremony. Ruhila Adatia was laid to rest alongside 46-year-old Rosa, who was killed in the Westgate siege. And the ceremonial procession moved on to the Muslim cemetery in Karyoko, where the two were laid to rest according to Muslim rights. Elected leaders among those who attended the ceremony, issuing their last respects. I want to pay tribute to all those, even the, even the community police of Parklands, community policing of each community of the Asian, Kenya Asian community. They have shown that they are part and parcel of Kenya. They have, they have helped without any, any uh, discrimination and they have put their lives at risk. The NSIS must be overhauled and we are going to push for that and I'm going to bring a motion in the Senate to discuss the conduct of the NSIS in these uh, uh, matters. At the Hindu crematorium, friends, relatives and staff of thicker based Bitco oil refineries came together in a final send-off for Mitula Shah, Bitco's marketing director and close relative to Vimal Shah, the company's chief executive officer. With prayers, the gathering sent off Mitul, whom they described as a hero, one whose last moments were described as a selfless sacrifice, true to his character. We were sure that Mitul was at Westgate when this uh, all episode started. I rushed to Westgate side and by 3.30, 4 o'clock, we heard the news that he is no more. In Homabi County, the family of 27-year-old Jackton Onyango Opwodi struggled to come to terms with news of the death of their kin. Married with two kids, Opwodi from Sofia Village was gunned down in the line of duty at the Westgate Mall. Jackson had an operation in Somalia. He was going to be juicy. He had an operation in Tena. He was going to be three days ago in Somalia. A similar mood hangs over the home of slain 23-year-old Kenya Defense Forces soldier Isaiah Kibet Terer. The lieutenant from Bomet County had a promising life and career that was cut short following a gunfight with the terrorists. He had pretty good plans in life. So for now, there's nothing I can say about was uh... Kumsaidia baba, kumshika mkono katika kuendeleza masomo ya ndugu zetu wengine ambao wangali nyuma. Here in Nairobi, friends and family of the late Peter Simani continue with burial preparation meetings at the All Saints Cathedral in preparation of his burial on October 5th. He too was among the 67 people killed in the Westgate siege. With the three-day national mourning period expected to come to a close Friday, the search for those missing continues. Chris Wangombe, Citizen Live at 9.